Welcome friends, family members, staff, and supporters of the Hawkinson High School Class of 2020. Thank you for all you have done to help our seniors navigate from birth to adulthood. And welcome Hawkinson High School Class of 2020 to your graduation. Allow me to begin with a personal regret. I regret that I did not have the opportunity to get to know each of you better over the past four years. I also regret that I did not make up for lost time by doing all I could this year to acquaint myself with you and your post-graduation plans. Who I did meet and what I did witness in the classrooms, the theater, and on the sports fields impressed me and made me a fan of this group of students. So what do I, as a first year superintendent, say to a group of students who have years of shared experiences dating back to, in some cases, kindergarten? I say very little. I know that you want to get on with your graduation ceremony, but I also need to say something thoughtful and something celebratory. You deserve both. This is not an easy task. So, I will say what's in my heart. I know this was a disappointing end to your senior year. You deserve better. My heart goes out to all of you who are looking forward to a trip to Carnegie Hall in New York City, to prom, and to your final spring sports season. My heart goes out to all of you who were waiting for just the perfect opportunity to ask someone to go out or just eat lunch with your friends in the courtyard on a sunny spring day. My heart goes out to all of the dreams that have been deferred. This pandemic has taken away a lot from you, but it has given you a lifelong gift. It has taught you to act on the traditional graduation advice of carpe diem and appreciate each moment, no matter how ordinary or how plentiful they may seem. I bet that is a lesson you will never forget. But what else can I really say to such an amazing group of scholars, athletes, musicians, leaders, friends, sons, daughters, and soon to be high school graduates? I say it is a great honor to present on the 150th anniversary of the Hawkinson School District, the record-breaking and history-making class of 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, and the class of 2020, welcome to the first and hopefully only Hawkinson virtual graduation. Our goal is to make this ceremony as traditional and meaningful as possible. Therefore, we are going to start with the national anthem performed by the Hawkinson High School Band, directed by Mr. Corey McHenry.
Thank you, band. Good evening. I'm Andy Schoonover, principal at Hawkinson High School. It is safe to say this is an unusual commencement ceremony. This group of seniors lost a lot of key moments of their senior year. Therefore, we are very thankful that we are able to celebrate the class of 2020 in any way we can. While this clearly isn't ideal, I think we have created a treasured keepsake in, for the years to come. We are following our traditional graduation agenda with a few obvious edits. I would like to also take this opportunity to officially welcome Mr. Steve Marshall as his first Hawkinson graduation as superintendent and thank our school board members, Mr. Greg Gosby, Mrs. Kathy Nordberg, Mr. Steve Nyland, and Mr. Gordon Smith for their support and hard work this year. It is now my pleasure to introduce our first student speaker, Jasmine Shigano. Her speech is titled, Rising to the Challenge. My name is Jasmine Shigeno, and first of all, I want to thank everyone who's helped me to get where I am today. My family, my friends, my coaches, and of course, the wonderful Hawkinson community. I first want to start out by saying that I've been blessed with a great support system, a great education, and a great life. But my privilege has not made me exempt from experiencing challenges and learning to overcome them. Specifically pertaining to high school, obstacles have come to me in a variety of different forms. I've tried to grow up being aware of the privilege I have in my life knowing that although I have and will experience obstacles, I'm very lucky. One thing that people probably don't know about my family is that my father went to one of the worst high schools in America, where gang violence at school was part of his every normal, and less than 40% of his class graduated due to drugs, teenage dropouts, gang violence, and a myriad of other issues. But despite the odds, he became extremely successful. Coming from a school where his AP calculus was literally taught by an English teacher who only assigned crossword puzzles, to later becoming someone who used advanced math daily has shaped me into the person who I am today, showing me that a work ethic and the right mindset can get you anywhere. My parents have always taught me that you are responsible for your own success, and you choose to rise up despite your circumstances. This has shaped me into the person who I am today. And just because of this, I've made it my mission to constantly strive for success. Whether it be studying for 150 hours plus on the ACT, SAT, over studying for every single test I take, or going on seven mile runs before school, I always strive in to put the work. But I've learned that the path to success is never linear, and the goal often changes as time passes as we encounter new obstacles. The thing is, obstacles force us to rise above the challenges and take on new things, and create personal growth for all of us. And as much as I personally hate struggling, I've learned a lot about myself as I've experienced it the past few years. There's some obvious obstacles that everyone has seen, like the fact that I've torn both of my ACLs, both my freshman and senior year, causing to me to miss all my sports seasons. There's the obstacles that people say all teens go through, such as finding your own identity. And there's obstacles that I personally have faced that have remained invisible to most, like my struggle with perfectionism, my anxiety, or my struggle with disordered eating. If you asked me in eighth grade what my perfect four years of high school would look like, I would have told you that I would have beat my dad's 4.7 GPA, letter in both soccer and basketball for all four years, lofty goal I know, and high school would be a smooth transition to whatever college I chose, and none of those have happened. Unsurprisingly, God had different plans for me. Right before my freshman year, I tore my ACL and missed my freshman soccer and basketball seasons. Honestly, it was probably one of the re most rewarding experiences that could have happened to me, even though I didn't know it at the time. I've always been motivated, but I've never worked so hard for anything, and it taught me everything about redefining success, the meaning of determination, and it gave me a new appreciation of my passions. Because of the work I put into recovery, I was able to come back and play during my sophomore seasons. My next obstacles came into place during what appeared to be my perfect junior year. I set some records in high school basketball after recovering from my first torn ACL, and I won state cup with my club soccer team, and then I scored well on my standardized test scores, seemingly perfect to everyone. Unbeknownst to everyone, I was struggling with disordered eating, akin to orthorexia and extremely restrictive eating habits that bordered anorexia, as well as what the time was diagnosed anxiety. I struggled to tell people about it because to me, I saw my inability to overcome these obstacles by myself as a complete failure. I didn't know who I was or who I wanted to be in the face of these struggles. And to make matters worse, heading into what I planned to be my perfect senior year, I tore my other ACL, ensuring I'd miss my senior year sports. The summer before senior year, I didn't know how to keep it together, much less rise up. I felt lost and didn't understand how any good could come out of anything I was struggling with. But somehow, during this crazy and perfect senior year, when COVID took away our last few months together, and I didn't get to play in any of my senior sports seasons, I had the most imperfectly perfect senior year as I began to face my various challenges head on. I learned to ask and accept help even if I thought I didn't need it. I started to truly recover and improve my mental and my physical health. And I began to loosen up and show people my true personality. 
I let people see my messy life, completely terrible dancing, nerdiest, nerdiness, and most, most importantly, learn not, to not let myself be defined by other people's opinions of me. I started to let go of the ideals of perfection and in the process have achieved much more than I ever would have thought possible. I never would have thought that I would have gotten to where I am today, much less have the confidence to talk about my personal struggles to the entire community. But I'm here to let you know that perfection should never be our goal. Because if one thing is for sure, life will always, always throw obstacles our way. And I think the class of 2020 senior year shows that perfectly. While we may not have had the perfect senior year, I think that we can all take something different from this. It's quite possible that our lives may never be the same after COVID, but I believe that we as a class have been proven capable to rising above challenges. We are the generation that grew up during the aftermath of 9-11, who survived the 2008 economic crash, and now the generation that is surviving a global pandemic, despite waves of racism and hatred across humanity. We are the generation that copes with our problem, questionably, with memes and social media, and also the ones who missed out on our prom, senior, years, senior sports seasons, and spending the last few months with our classmates. But we have always risen to the challenge, and I have faith that we can and will do it again. Here's to our future unknown, full of surprises, and undoubtedly imperfect. And let's embrace the messiness. Let's rise above the things thrown at us and step into our future with open minds and ready ourselves for what's to come. Because while I don't know what our future is, I'm proud to graduate with this resilient class and taking the future ahead of us, knowing that we are fully capable of rising to this new challenge. Thank you. Thank you, Jasmine for your honesty and being an excellent example of the impressive resilience of the class of 2020. It is now my pleasure to introduce our second student speaker, Brandi Webb. Her speech is, is titled, Oh, the Road We're On. Hello, class of 2020 and their families. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Brandi Webb. 2,340 days is the amount of days you attend school from the first day of kindergarten to the last day of senior year. The class of 2020 was only given 2,290 of those days. The difference is only 50 days, but in those 50 days, we were not given the opportunity to have the best days of our lives. We have no photos or memories to look back on to the days we missed. The ones we wait years for, our senior prom, senior color war, a real true graduation, and our last day of school. No one can make up the time we have missed, but we can make the best of it. We can look back on our junior year where our class achieved so many great things. In the fall, we won our second state football championship. In the spring, we won our first color war, and most of us attended our first year of prom. I'm so very thankful for those moments I get to share with my peers. No other class compares to ours. The constant laughs and smiles every day is something I will never forget. My journey at Hawkinson started in preschool. My class was where the life skills room is now. My sister was in high school at the time. I remember roaming the halls with her, being so excited I will one day be where she is. That time has come and passed and was cut short. All I can do now is be thankful for the years I was given. I wouldn't trade my high school experience for anything. It has truly been the best three-ish years of my life. The class of 2020 is one heck of a class. We have been through so much together. From freshman year snow days and having to add on an extra 20 minutes to our last few weeks of school, to sophomore year and not being freshmen anymore and most of us getting our license, to junior year finally being upperclassmen and now senior year graduation. The class that sits in front of me today watching this has so much talent. From artistic to athletic ability, everyone has something they strive at. The class of 2020 has fought hard. We have put endless hours into assignments and tests but that's not what this school will remember us as. Our legacy as a class is our relationship, not just with each other, but with the staff as well. I will admit, we are a little rowdy at times, but that's just one thing you have to love about us, our dedication to making a fun environment. Senior year to me feels like a long car ride, and all of a sudden we took the wrong exit. But now months later, we are figuring out our way. But that's okay, because everywhere you go, there will be bumps in the road, or you may take the wrong exit. All you have to do is find your way back. Our after high school life is just another car ride. Whether you plan on going to college or work, the next four years of your life will be so exciting. I dare you to try something new. Talk to new people, challenge yourself. The time is now. Don't wait on the future and don't sit and ponder on the past, only appreciate it. If there's one thing I taught you in school or in this speech, it's to be yourself in any given situation. Yourself is the best gift you can give. Class of 2020, from the bottom of my heart, I love you all and wish you all the best. Sincerely, Brandy Webb. Thank you, Brandy. I agree that despite losing some time, this class is very accomplished and impressive. At this time, I would like to acquaint you with the successes of the graduating class of 2020. 
All the trials, successes, tears, and joys over the past 13 years of school have culminated to achieve this goal. In this class of 173 graduating seniors, there are 73 honor roll students, which is 42% of the class. The honor roll is compromised of those students who have earned a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher during their four years in high school. These students are noted in the graduation program and received silver honor courts. In addition, there are 13 seniors who are members of the National Honor Society. Also noted in the program, they received gold courts. The accomplishments in this special class are in part reflected in more than $1.4 million in academic, athletic, and activity scholarships and awards to these seniors. This is another demonstration of how amazing this class is. Mr. Johnson will share with you where tonight's graduates will be attending the following institutions. Good evening. Many of our graduates have chosen to continue their education or training through college, apprenticeships, or military service. The following list shows the broad array of places and experiences they will have. Adams State University, American Airlines Cadet Academy, Arizona State University, Aveda Institute, Baylor University, Big Bend Community College, Blue Mountain Community College, Boise State University, Brigham Young University, Brigham Young University, Idaho, Central Washington University, Clackamas Community College, Clark College, Corbin University, Dixie State University, Eastern Washington University, Elite Dental Assisting Academy, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, Evergreen State College, Florida College, George Fox University, Grand Canyon University, Loyola University Chicago, Montana State University, Mount Hood Community College, Oglethorpe University, Oregon State University, Penn Foster College, Pierce College, Portland State University, St. Martin's University, Seattle Pacific University, Semester at Sea, University of Mississippi, University of Montana, University of Portland, University of Washington, University of Nevada, Reno, Washington State University, Washington State University, Vancouver, Western Washington University, Willamette University. What a diverse and impressive list. The following graduates have decided to serve our country by entering into military service. Please stand and be recognized for your intended service to our country when I call your names. Nate Anderson, United States Army. Troy Visnius, United States Army. Ellis Geiger, United States Air Force. Braden Green, United States Air Force. Keith Strong, United States Navy. Thank you for choosing to serve our country. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Every year, students go above and beyond by choosing to take AP exams. The following students have been granted scholar awards from AP based on their scores through their junior year. The following graduates have earned the AP Scholar Award, which is granted to students who receive a three or higher on three or more AP exams. Congratulations to Hallie Kerr, Kelton Duncan, Kai Hayden. The following graduates have earned the AP Scholar with Honor Award. This award is granted to students who receive an average score of at least 3.25 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on four or more of these exams. Congratulations to Jaden Tedson. Our final AP award 
is the AP Scholars with Distinction Award. This award is earned by scoring an average of at least 3.5 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on five or more exams by fall of their senior year. Congratulations to Jasmine Shigano. The following are Running Start students who earned their high school diploma and their AA degree from Clark College. Congratulations to Peyton Burris, Morgan Codino, Lily Ellingson, Evelyn Jones, Jenna Lobelstahl, Lily McCosland, Catherine McCracken, Marissa Morin, Haley Murdoch, Emma Knockleby, Bailey Northrup, Madison Perry, Ashley Riley, Grace Stockton, McKenna Tapio, Faith Taylor, Kyleen Veteran, and Isabella Weiss. I would now like to thank and recognize the excellent work done by one of our Cascadia Tech students. Rihanna Soft won the Distinguished Graduate Award in the Culinary, Baking, and Pastry Arts Program. Well done, Rihanna. I would like to recognize yet another group of magnificent students. These senior leaders have been in the ASB leadership class all year and have worked hard to promote a positive culture and school spirit. Thank you to Molly Bolt, Peyton Brammer, Brooklyn Byers, Kelton Duncan, Jeremiah Falstick, Kai Hayden, Blaine Hardy, Jack Hafer, Megan Mindersey, Lauren Moore Are You, Sawyer Racanelli, Maddie Ritter, Brandy Webb, and Evan Wolcott. I'd also like to take a moment and thank another group of selflessly serving students who served as peer tutors in our preschool and life skills program. In the life skills class, Molly Bolt, Sydney Dahl, Brooke Gross, Anna Guasco, Ariana Probst, Rihanna Soft, and Evan Wolcott. The preschool tutors, the first three names I will read, served two full years in the program, which shows exceptional dedication. Jeremiah Falstick, Caitlin Chat, and Zach Venata. The following students served this year. Talia Aracho, Sydney Ohl, Colton Record, Cam Thielen, and Blaine Hardy. Next, I'm going to recognize the members of the class of 2020 who compromised the highest students scholastically based on their weighted grade point average. Each of these outstanding students will receive a medallion recognizing their exceptional academic accomplishment. The 2020 Hawkinson High School valedictorian is Jasmine Shigano. The 2020 Hawkinson High School salutatorian is Caitlin Schatt. Congratulations, Jasmine and Caitlin. The following students will receive honor medals for being in the top 5% of our seniors. All of these seniors earned a weighted and non-weighted GPA of 4.0 or higher. Congratulations, Mason Bonifee, Joshua Cablay, Hallie Kerr, Kennedy Carter, Brooke Gross, Kai Hayden, Marissa Morin, Tess Plymail, Rihanna Soft, McKenna Tapio, Jaden Tedson, and Carson Yinger. It is now my pleasure to present the Citizenship Awards. 
It is an established tradition at Hawkinson High School. We give this award every year at our graduation ceremony to two amazing students. It is the highest recognition the faculty of Hawkinson High School gives to two graduating seniors. Recipients will be honored in our graduation program for years to come. The Citizenship Award is granted with the following points in mind. The recipients should demonstrate willingness and dependability, a democratic spirit, a high level of character, and work for the good of the group rather than oneself. The recipients of this award will receive an individual plaque, a monetary award, and have their names on a permanent plaque in the main office. I would like to thank Fire District 3 and the AAA Boosters for sponsoring this award. Our staff went through an extensive process to present, recognize, and vote on these two seniors. The recipients of the 2020 Citizenship Award are Musse Barkley and Brooke Gross. At this time, it is my honor to introduce you to our keynote speaker, teacher Mrs. Leslie Perschel. Mrs. Perschel's speech is titled, All In. Filming TikToks for the end of the year stuff? Uh, this is the graduation speech. Oh, that's why I'm wearing a robe and there's a podium. Okay, uh, I think I can figure something out. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. I'm extremely honored to be here. The class of 2020 is a really special group to me. They have been since day one. Four years ago, these kids were freshmen and they stormed through my doors. And when I say stormed, I mean it. They were rambunctious, water bottle flipping, yelling things like estabien after every correct answer given. And I think a lot of people struggled with their spirit because they were a lot to handle, but I loved it. After a few weeks, we really started to kind of get into a groove and they respected me, but they kept their zealous spirit for life that was unpredictable and fun. It kept me on my toes daily, and I quickly cherished every single moment that I had with them. They were different, but in all the best ways possible. And as the years passed, I didn't have them in class, which made me sad, but they still made an effort to come by and say hi and just ask how I was doing. They would fill me in on their successes and their struggles throughout their four years at Hawkinson. And when I think of the class of 2020, the phrase all in comes to mind. These amazing people are committed. When they decide to do something, they don't leave an ounce of effort out in their pursuit to achieve their goals. Whether that was cheering at assemblies, supporting at different events at school, or even just being creative for a class project, you could always count on them to show up. You couldn't miss them even if you tried. They own who they are and their talents extend across every part of this school. So class of 2020, this all-in mentality is something that I hope you continue throughout your, throughout your life. In your relationships, be all-in. Express your love to those close to you. Take time to be present. Go the extra mile to make them feel loved. People notice your genuine efforts to be with them. Open the door, ask people how they're doing and actually mean it. Put someone's shopping cart away from them, for them. Small acts of genuine kindness are appreciated by those closest to you and also by people you'll never see again. In your work ethic, be all in. Be the hardest working person no matter the task at hand. Leave no doubt that you are willing to put in the time to improve. There will be times that you want to give up. Persevere. Remember, the harder you work, the luckier you get. In your failures, be all in. You will fail. It's inevitable. Failure is just a detour on your way to your goals. Don't let it be a dead end. And as the great Michael Scott once said, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take, Wayne Gretzky. 
The obstacles you face will only build you up in the long run. So face the tough stuff head on. Embrace the struggle and let it fuel your continuous efforts to be better. In your enthusiasm, be all in. You all have this contagious zest for life. People will try to squander this. Don't let them. Trust me, I've experienced this a lot in my life. The light that exudes from you all is something that needs to shine. The hardships of life and the people in life may dole that at times, but lean on your optimism, on your people, and on your beliefs. Never underestimate the power your enthusiasm has. Though your senior year has ended on a strange note, don't let that stop you from being all in on celebrating your accomplishments. Thank your parents, siblings, grandparents, friends, teachers, coaches, and mentors. Though many of us can't give you a big hug like we want to, that doesn't mean we aren't embracing this special time for you. We are in your corner and we are all in on supporting you in all of your endeavors. I love you all more than words or TikTok could ever express. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. The impact that you have had on me and Hawkinson is immeasurable. Thanks for being all in the last four years. Don't stop now. Thank you. <laughs> and now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, we now highlight the program by awarding the diplomas. This represents the sacrifices and efforts of many years of these young men and women. It also represents the hopes and dreams of both students and families. I would like to present the Hawkinson High School graduating class of 2020. They have met the requirements of the state of Washington and the Hawkinson School District and are recommended by the faculty and administration to receive their diplomas this evening. Reading the names of the students will be one of our teachers, Mr. Greg Somm. Kyle Abbas. Jacob Abbott. Riley Amundsen. Nathaniel Anderson. Joshua Bachuik. Muse Barkley. Samuel Barkley. Tyler Begtall. Brandon Berry. Olivia Buselink. Aliana Billings. Andrew Billington. Molly Bolt. Mason Bonafi. Peyton Brammer. Kristen Bratt. Evan Brown. Paige Bunting. Peyton Burris. Claire Burton. Brooklyn Byers. Joshua Cablay. Taya Campbell. Isaiah Cannon. Hallie Kerr. Lindsey Carlisle. Kennedy Carter. Josiah Christoris. Morgan Codino. Marcus Cole. Levi Crum. Grayson Cunningham. Sydney Dahl. Kelton Duncan. Bethany 
Eck. Lily Ellingson. Jacob Engelhart. Talia Erickson. Jeremiah Falstick. Viniamin Fedek. Robert Flores. Ariana Galvez. Bailey Garner. Mitchell Georgioff. Ellis Geiger. Blake Gilhoover. Braden Green. Brooke Gross. Catherine Grover. Anna Guasco. Brecken Gwynn. Kynard Hayden Jr. Emma Hansen. Riley Hansen. Blaine Hardy. Mackenzie Hatton. Kaylin Heimbuck. Sydney Henwood. Jaden Hill. Xavier Hines. Jack Hafer. Jalen Erica Hopman. Sawyer James. Janae Johnson. Evelyn Jones. Jed Kangas. Heidi Carlson. Liam Kent. Ethan King. Grant Nebel. Gabriel Koenig. Tobias Lamp. Wyatt LeCount. Tyler Lee. Brock Laner. Josie Lester. Tanner Linton. Jenna Lobostall. Asher Marlowe. Noah Martin. Joshua Martzolf. Melanie Matthew. Lily McCausland. Catherine McCracken. Caden McNair. Megan Mindersee. Marquise Miller. Madeline Mitchell. Riley Moffat. Alexis Moldabon. Ryland Moore. Lauren Morario. Joseph Morgus. Marissa Morin. 
Gabriella Morley. Haley Murdoch. Emily Nadel. Jennifer Nazaruk. Adriana Neff. Emma Nokelby. Bailey Northrup. Haley OJ. Emily Olmedo Lopez. Alexander Ortega. Anthony Pandina. Micah Paulson. Addison Penner. Ian Perry. Madison Perry. Tess Plymail. Ariana Probst. Connor Pulsifer. Mackenzie Rabe. Sawyer Racanelli. Aspen Rebman. Colton Record. Sophia Reese. Jackson Rhodes Cobble. Madeline Ritter. Jaylee Robinson Wasser. Brady Roth. Chase Rausch. Sandra Sarkinen. Caitlin Schott. Josiah Scherf. Michael Scott. Sean Seifert. Barrick Seppala. Travis Shelton. David Sherbina. Jasmine Shagano. Talia Sloan. Haley Smith. Sawyer Smith. Rihanna Soft. Michael Solarchik. Dakota Souders. Max Spivey. Megan Stengel. Lily Stetcher. Grace Stockton. JC Stringer. Catherine Steiskull. Ellie Summerson. Leonard Swatosh. Benjamin Swatzel. Artem Tangensev. Makina Tapeo. Faith Taylor. Mackenzie Taylor. Jaden Tedson. Cameron Phelan. Annie Tormanen. Keith Trong. 
Sydney Yule. Emma Yusitalo. Zachary Vanetta. Takumi Vili. Kaylee Vernon. Kyleen Veteran. Troy Visnius. Abigail Walden. Caden Wangler. Emma Watson. Brandy Webb. Alyssa White. Dyson Whitney. Andrew Wiggs. Ian Wilson. Isabella Weiss. Kevin Wolford. Evan Woolcott. Carson Yinger. In just a moment, we will ceremoniously move from high school seniors to high school graduates. Before we move tassels and end tonight's recessional, I would like to thank our band director, Mr. Corey McHenry, and our band for recording the music tonight. I couldn't have done this without Miss Becky Hawkins, Miss Jen Miller, and Moose Barclay. We cannot thank them enough. Graduates, I know we're not in the gym as you would have hoped, but wherever you are, please stand and put your cap on. Please take a hold of your tassel and move it from the left to the right. I introduce you as officially high school graduates. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you and good night. Now that the graduation ceremony is complete, let's take a look at the class of 2020's more candid moments. Remember asking both my mom and dad Why we never travel to exotic lands We only ever really visit friends Nothing to tell when the summer ends <laughs> We never really <laughs> went buying clothes Folks were passing on the stuff in plenty loads New shoes once a year and then Out to play ball so we could ruin them Mama said that it was okay Mama said that it was quite alright Our kind of people had a bad Loving from my mom and dad But I don't think they really understood When I said that I wanted to deal in Hollywood I told them I'd be singing on TV The other kids were calling me a wannabe The older kids, they started bugging me But now they're all standing right in front of me <laughs> Mama said that it was okay Mama said that it was quite alright I kind of people had a bed for the night And it was okay Told us we were good kids And daddy told us never listen to the ones Point the nasty fingers and making fun Cause we were good kids I know which place I'm from 
from I know my home When I'm in doubt and struggling That's where I go An old friend can give advice When new friends only know a high story That's why I always keep my tight And why I'm okay I said I'm okay You know what my mama said You know what she told me My mama said The Hawkinson High School women's soccer team is dedicating their season to a little boy from Camas. They knew before they even met him that they wanted to help, but today they actually got to join them at you practice. You know I'm back like I never left. I never left. Another sprint, another step, another step, another day, another breath. Another breath. Been chasing dreams, but I never slept. of the riding no straight i'm on my way i'm on my way get up my way i'm running late what can i say i heard you die twice once when they bury you in the grave and the second time is the last time that somebody mentions your name so when i leave here on this earth did i take more than i gave did i look out for the people or did i do it all for fame legend is exodus searching for euphoria judging through the mud of I'm ready through the darkest part of the night. Oh. 